For the past three decades, the world's leading powers have been locked in a race to field fifth-generation stealth fighters in significant numbers. The American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, Russia's Su-57, and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon have dominated the skies and the global conversation on air power. But today, that race has entered a new chapter, the pursuit of sixth-generation stealth fighters. According to defense leaks and satellite intelligence, China is already testing its sixth-generation stealth fighter prototype, rumored to be designated the J-36. If confirmed, this would represent a massive leap in Chinese air power, not just aiming to match, but to surpass its global rivals. The United States is working on its next-generation air dominance program, while Europe is developing the Tempest and Future Combat Air System project. But here's the key difference. Those programs remain largely in the concept and design phase, with no operational prototypes yet in the sky. China, on the other hand, appears to have already taken the lead, conducting flight tests of its sixth-generation jet years ahead of its competitors. This signals not just ambition, but a strategic head start in the future of air dominance. So, what makes a sixth-generation fighter different from a fifth-generation one, and what do we know about the mysterious J-36? Let's dive in. Airframe and Stealth Reports suggest the J-36 is a large, tailless Delta Wing aircraft, a design optimized for stealth. The absence of vertical stabilizers dramatically reduces radar cross-section, especially from the sides and rear. It will likely feature advanced stealth coatings, radar-absorbing composites, internal weapons bay, and edge alignment technologies that go beyond what we see in the J-20. Combined, this could make the J-36 nearly invisible to traditional radar systems until it is already within the striking distance. Engine and Supercruise At the heart of the J-36 lies its next-generation propulsion system, likely an advanced evolution of the WS-15 engine already being integrated into China's J-20 stealth fighter. However, for a sixth-generation platform, these engines are expected to deliver much higher thrust-to-weight ratios, improved thermal efficiency, and reduced infrared signatures for superior stealth performance. China's aerospace engineers are reportedly pursuing adaptive cycle engine technology, capable of dynamically switching between fuel-efficient cruise mode and high-thrust combat mode. This revolutionary feature would allow the J-36 to operate efficiently during long-range patrols, then unleash extreme power when entering combat, all while conserving fuel. These engines are expected to enable sustained supercruise speeds of Mach 1.5 or higher, without using afterburners, allowing the J-36 to cross vast distances rapidly while remaining stealthy by avoiding the infrared heat plume typically produced during the afterburner use. Some defense analysts even suggest the J-36 may feature three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles as well, granting extreme agility at both subsonic and supersonic speeds. Combined with advanced cooling systems, plasma-coated turbine blades, and AI-controlled engine management, this power plant could make the J-36 one of the most efficient and powerful fighter engines ever developed, giving it the range of a bomber, the speed of an interceptor, and the maneuverability of a true air dominance fighter. Avionics and Artificial Intelligence the J-36 is expected to feature an advanced suite of next-generation avionics that push beyond anything currently flying. Its multiband ESA radar system won't just operate in the traditional X-band, it will also include L-band arrays embedded in the wings, a configuration designed to detect and track even low-observable stealth aircraft like the F-22 or F-35. Beyond radar, the J-36 will likely employ a 360-degree distributed aperture system of electro-optical and infrared sensors, giving the pilot complete spherical awareness of the battle space, spotting incoming missiles, aircraft, or drones in any direction. Supplementing these systems are infrared search and track units, advanced electronic warfare pods, and even experimental quantum radar technology, an area where China has invested heavily in recent years to counter stealth fighters. Inside the cockpit, the J-36 will feature AI-assisted flight management systems, where the pilot is supported by a virtual co-pilot. This AI could handle sensor fusion, targeting, and threat prioritization, processing terabytes of data in real-time and freeing the human pilot to focus on high-level decision-making and combat tactics. 
Paired with neural network-driven threat recognition, voice command interfaces, and augmented reality helmet displays, the J36 cockpit will be more like the command center of a flying supercomputer, where human intuition meets machine precision in the split-second chaos of aerial warfare. Sensor fusion and networking The J36 would act as a true flying command center, stitching together satellites, loyal wingman drones, surface ships, and ground sensors into a single, real-time battle space network. Beyond multiband ESA radars and distributed aperture sensors, expect hardened, low-probability intercept data links and mesh networking that let the J36 share tracks and targeting data instantly across platforms, even at long ranges. Onboard Edge AI processors would fuse sensor inputs locally, reduce latency, and present a single, coherent tactical picture to the pilot, while distributed command functions could delegate tasks to autonomous drones or Q shipborne missiles. That networked approach multiplies situational awareness, shortens kill chain, and makes the J-36 not just a stealth fighter, but the nerve center of a coordinated, multi-domain force, all while employing resilient comms, encryption, and cyber-hardening to survive contested electronic warfare environments. Weapons and Drone Integration the J-36 true power won't just be its airframe or engines, it will come from the system of weapons and unmanned teammates it directs. Expect the J-36 to control multiple loyal wingman drones via low-latency data links and onboard AI, tasking them to carry extra missile loads, standoff sensors, electronic attack pods, or sacrificial decoys. These autonomous or semi-autonomous drones can push the envelope, scout ahead to find targets, absorb air defenses, or carry out precision strikes while the manned jet stays back in a safer command role. The J-36 will be equipped with the PL-21 long-range air-to-air missile that has an effective range of up to 400 kilometers. The PL-21 is designed to neutralize high-value airborne targets like AWACS and tankers well beyond the visual range. It likely uses secure mid-course data link updates, a powerful terminal seeker, possibly dual mode, and sustained thrust propulsion for strong endgame energy and maneuverability. Paired with drone scouts and airborne sensors, PL-21s let the J-36 strike the enemy's command and control layer early, effectively collapsing opposing air operations and asserting aerial dominance. In short, the J-36 becomes less a single aircraft and more a networked command node, able to orchestrate manned and unmanned assets to strike with precision, manage risk, and saturate enemy defenses in ways conventional fighters simply cannot. To sum up, the J-36, China's mysterious sixth-generation stealth fighter, could mark a turning point in aerial warfare. With razor-edge stealth design, adaptive engines built for limitless range, AI-assisted avionics, and command over autonomous drones, it's not just a fighter, it's a glimpse into the future of air combat. While America's NGAD and Europe's Tempest are still blueprints and testbeds, China might already be flying the next generation. If true, this means Beijing has quietly pulled ahead in the race for air dominance, years before anyone expected. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more deep dives into global defense tech.